So throughout the last episode, we've looked mainly at web parts. Now we're going to look at SharePoint framework extensions. My name's Rob, let's dive straight in. So what SharePoint framework extensions are we gonna look at? Well, the first one, with a brief introduction today, are application customizers. You can extend predefined placeholders on the SharePoint page, like the top and the footer, and put your own customizations for all to see. It'll help us embed things like JavaScript, so maybe we'll have a look at doing Google Analytics down the road. So application customizers can be added to site collections and lists. They'll really help you to enhance your SharePoint sites. The other kind we're going to look at down the road are field customizers. So these can help you to customize your lists. They can assist in overriding the presentation of the list and they can be used with site columns or they can affect fields directly on the list. Finally, we'll look at command sets. So you can extend SharePoint with client side code. So maybe for instance, adding buttons to the toolbar on a list is a good example of this. In fact, we can add to not only the toolbar, but the context menu as well. So in this episode, we're going to do a quick introduction to show how we can simply scaffold an application customizer, a SharePoint extension, which we can build on in future episodes. So the first thing I want to do is check what version of Node I'm using. As we're working in the 1.12.1 framework, I want to make sure I'm using the uh, latest LTS version, which at the time of recording is 14.17.0. If you don't have that, then use NVM to install 14.17.0 and then use NVM to use it. See our other video on how to set up NVM for Windows. Okay, so let me run Yeoman and we can scaffold our out-of-the-box extension. I'm going to choose Microsoft SharePoint. I'm going to call it Hello World. And I'm going to do SharePoint Online only. I'm going to create a new subfolder with the solution name and just accept all the defaults. I'm going to make it an extension and I'm going to make it an application customizer. So in later episodes, we'll have a look at the other types. Um, yeah, I'll keep with Hello World, do a basic description, and we'll uh, create the project. And let's go into Hello World. So now we can see our project's been scaffolded for us. Let's try to build it. Let's open up the code. And we'll see that it's scaffolded a basic extension for us, which is going to alert us and say hello with the title that we've configured it with. So let's try and run this to see what it looks like. So the first thing I need to do is update the extension to point to my environment for testing. So rather than using the local workbench like you can with web parts, you need to use your environment. Let's have a look. So I'm going to go to my site and I'm going to take the URL of my test page that I've set up. And I'm going to paste that here as the page URL. And I'm going to do the same down here. So now when I bring up a terminal, so now I can do a gulp serve and it will ask me, do I allow scripts? Well, I have to load debug scripts and lo and behold, that's my test customizer. So I hope you enjoyed that. I look forward to you joining us in the future as we expand on SharePoint framework extensions. If you haven't done already, please subscribe, maybe leave a comment and let us know that you've subscribed and Maybe give us some suggestions on what you'd like to see in future videos. My name's Rob, and I'll see you next time.